I don't know about you, but I'm a huge fan of bullpups and have always been for the longest time, especially if they're gas blowbacks. There's a short list of them, but the ones that stick out are the WE L85, which everyone had a love-hate relationship with, the CyberWee P90, which had a lot of internal issues, but it's a P90, so who cares? And then there's that one, and as much as I hate to admit it, is the Danny DeVito of Airsoft, which just proves that you don't have to look like George Clooney to be a star performer. Following the footsteps of bullpups previously mentioned is the OTS 03 SVU by Bear Paws Productions. The Sniperskaya Vintovka Urovchenaya. The SVU is the shorter, younger brother of the SVD sniper rifle. Gamers would know this rifle from the game Rainbow Six Siege, used by the character Glaz, or from the Stalker series, but the real gun enthusiasts would know this to be the Bullpup SVD, which was introduced in the early 90s. This SVU is not the first to turn up, as APS and GG released their AEG version a couple years ago. However, this is the first ever gas blowback variant. There will be two versions of the SVU upon release. This is the aluminium version, where the majority of its components are made out of aluminium, aside from the polymer handguard, pistol grip, cheek rest, and the stock. The other versions will be made out of steel instead. Internally, they'll be the exact same. It's just the external components that'll change. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, let us take a closer look at it. Thankfully, the SVU isn't the most complicated sniper rifle in the world. It functions much like an SVD, except it now has taken the form of a bullpup and is a whole foot shorter than the SVD. As a bullpup, all the fun stuff and the loud stuff occurs right behind the grip. The magazine release can be found right behind the magazine, releasing a 21 round gas magazine, but inserting it can be a little bit of a pain as the grip can get in the way if you're not used to this. The safety lever can be found on the right side. Pulling it down will set it from safe into semi. Pulling back the charging handle will reveal the rotary hop-up inside the breech. Right at the top, we have a flip-up rear sight, which you can adjust by spinning this particular dial. Towards the front, we have the flip-up front sight. And right in front of that, we have the mock suppressor, which you can remove, revealing a 14 mm CCW thread, though I don't see why you would, because this is a very accurate representation of the real steel version, and the inner barrel goes up to right about here. And if I spin this around, on the left side of a receiver, you'll find a slot for a PSO-1 scope, and putting that on will really put this and showcase its true potential. So let's take a closer look at that bolt. I'll remove the magazine. You can listen to this, it sounds amazing. <laughs> very, very loud indeed. So incredibly smooth. But what I am not a big fan of is how squishy this trigger is. I mean, it's, it's rather deafening, but that trigger is not a fan. There is its release, very prominent, but then there's a bit of slack on the way back, and then there's virtually no wall to find. It makes it much more difficult for snipers to hold their breath and take that deadly shot. Right, that's about it really, though I do have to mention that Gambit already made a video on the internals of the SVU. If you'd like to try to find that video, do click on the card or in the description below. That is about it, guys. I think it's time to chrono the thing. For the chrono test, we're using 0.2 grams, six millimeter BBs with green gas. Not the most consistent, but it clocked in at an average of 400 FPS. Welcome to the 20 meter range where we have Quake's face as our target. We also have the SVU on a gun stand, making sure that every single shot is incredibly stable and consistent. This is a proper accuracy test. For this test, we're gonna be using green gas, 0.28 gram BBs. Let's do this. Everything should be aligned. There's no effort being put here. Just a few more. 
All right, that was very easy. I guess it's time to take a look at those results. Okay, so now that we take a closer look at it, I can tell you that the grouping is at around two and a half inches apart, which is really not that bad, considering how the FPS was rather inconsistent. I just got a few BBs in his beard. Hold on, let me just, just remove that. And uh, got one just below his eye. Yep, let's take a couple more shots. Since the SVU was attached to that gun stand, I feel like there was a missed opportunity to actually give it a go because I didn't know how it actually felt. So we're going to take a couple more shots at the target and just have fun with it. Whew, there's quite a bit of recoil there. And it's seriously loud because the action is just right underneath my right ear. Take a couple quick shots. Wow, <laughs> there's, there's so much recoil. My face is vibrating, more so than it would be from a regular gas blowback rifle such as the VFC. If anything, the recoil is on par with the VFC M4, the new one, the Gen 2s. And that is saying something. Oh wow, it's loud. All right. I'll probably need a hearing aid after this. Let's take this back to the showroom. Do you know what I love? I love it when new companies come out of nowhere and surprise us with something that isn't an M4 AEG gas blowback. Bear Paw Productions have done an amazing job with this SVU that the perks such as the recoil and the accuracy far outweigh the flaw that is the squishy trigger that it doesn't even matter to me anymore. Though, I would suggest using 0.36 or 4 gram BBs if you really want to push the distance. This SVU would be a great addition to your Russian loadout, like if you want to be Glaz from Rainbow Six Siege. Or you could just use it in a standard airsoft game that isn't the standard VSR-10. Though, what would you use it for? Let me know in the comments section below. If you'd like to know more about the Bear Paw Productions SVU Gas Blowback Sniper Rifle, you know exactly where to go. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys on the next episode of Red Wolf TV. Porn Stash is going to get Gambit because it's his turn now.